My name is Kain Tundagenius and today we are going to be talking about joins in SQL database. This is part of the whole uh, course on Microsoft SQL Server and this is module 6. If you are just starting up, you can follow but it's recommended you go back to go through the previous ones. So we are going to be talking about joins. You know, joins is something that many people find difficult to understand. So let's go ahead to do it so that we can actually do the practicals and it gets clear. I would also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you're not subscribed, just click on the subscribe button. In that way, you motivate me to keep making these lessons. If you have any questions or challenges or recommendations, let me know. So I'm going to end this presentation right now, and then we start talking about joins. So since joins is very important, I've also written on my website, Kinds on the Genius, all the details you, know, you need to know about all the kinds of joins. So basically, we are talking about six different types of joins you need to know. So make sure you understand them because it's really something very important. Now, a join in SQL is used to combine records from two or more tables, and the combination is based on a given criteria. So we are going to be talking about this criteria, and we also know that two tables uh, need to be related. We have talked about relationships, so that one is clear to you by now. We have the student table and the department table. Now, let's now quickly go to stats. Now, we have an example on my website. You can follow this example, but you can also follow the one we are going to use for this demo. So let's start with inner join. So we have students and uh, department, they are related. Now, inner join is simply get the records in students and departments where, uh, where the department ID are the same. The students have department ID and the department table have department ID. So any records that's where the student and the department have the same de uh, same uh, department ID, return that record. Don't return records where a student does not have a department ID. Also, don't return records where the department ID does not exist. <coughs> okay, so let's start. So we have select contact C from customers in a join to others, okay? Don't worry about this, let's try this. Now the good thing about Management Studio is that this can actually be generated for you. You simply need to do a little modification. So let's go, let's go here and go to uh, create a view because that's the easiest way, so new view. So we are going to use the two tables. So at this point, you can see that it actually added the uh, part of the query for us, as you can see right here. Okay, it says select uh, the BO uh, department join students on. So this part of the query is just specifying the join, inner join, and that is what we are talking about. But what records do we want to select? That is what we are going to be concerned about. Okay, so for now, let's call the department table D and the student table S. So it means that at, at this place, select from DBO, TBL department, let's call it D. So just type D at the end of it, uh, inner joint students S. So let's call it S. So it means that at this point, we can use S to represent the student table and we can use D to represent the student the department table. So what do we want to select? We want to select S dot uh, is the first name uh, age dot last name, and now we want to select also. Uh, let's select s dot department ID. Basically everything, uh, and then we are going to select. D, that this department dot name and D dot department ID. Okay, so if we don't have any errors, we are going to have it work. So I'm going to just select it and just right click on it and say execute SQL. All right, so now what we are doing here is uh, called inner join. So inner join selects only matching. Uh, where the criteria is match. In this case, we have department ID 1, department ID 1 as well. So, uh, the department ID is called as department 
ID. Okay, let's just put it this way. So let me just re executively so that you see. So we're only selecting records where there is a match. We are not selecting where there is a no. There is no department on the student We are not going to select that record. So anytime we have inner join, there is no null no values uh, of selected. So that is it. So we have nulls represents an intersection. So base inner join represent inner join represent intersection. That is here for what you can see. Let's go to the next one. The next one is left join. It returns, of course, you have left and right table. In this case, we have from uh let me just make it a bit clear. So I'm going to adjust this query so that you see what is on the left and the right. So now you can see that we have, okay, let me just, department join. So join is in the middle, some table is in the right and some is in the left. Another one is in the left. So department is on the left and student is on the right. So when we say inner join, or when we say left join, we are selecting everything on the left table, irrespective of what is on the right table. We are selecting everything on the left table plus matching records on the right table. So in this case, we are going to run it. So let's see how it works. Meanwhile, we are going to change this to left join. So all the records in the department table is going to be included in this, in this join. So I'm going to just right click and say execute. So as you can see, you have all the departments, because we have departments in the left table, we have all the departments have been included. And you can see there are some departments that has no students. It doesn't matter, but we have all the departments have been included. Department three and four, there are no students in them, but for left join, we are including all the departments, irrespective of whether they are students or not. So for this case, where there is no students, no matching records on the other table, we use null values are placed in place of this record. So we have all the departments selected plus matching records in the right table. So in this case, we have matching records in the right table. And then uh, we have where there are no matching records, we put, we have a null value. So play around with it, this is left join. And that also helps you understand what right join is all about. The right join, we are selecting all the uh, values or all the records in the right table plus matching records in the left table. So in this case, we are selecting everything in the student table, irrespective of whether they have a department or not. So let's change this to right join. So again, I'm going to execute it. So let's say execute. So now you can see that it's have all the depart all the students has been included because the students in the left table. But now we have a student that does not have a department. So we have Kali and Tama, no department. So it doesn't matter because all the all the records has to be selected because it's in the right, it's a right join, right? Let's now look at full join. Full join returns all records from both tables. So basically it's a combination of left and right join. Return all records from both tables. So I'm going to just say, So when we say right and left, uh, we can actually say right join, or we can say left join, you can say right alpha join and left alpha join, they are the same. So right join is the same as right alpha join, left join is the same as left alpha join. Now we are going to say full join. Full join returns everything as, as you can see if I execute. So you can see it returns everything on both tables. Everything on both tables where there is no matching department ID, a no value is placed there. Okay, let's look at the last one. I think, oh, last one. Cross join returns a uh, join, use the cross, cross join to return a result that is the number of rows of the first table multiplied by the number of rows of the second table. And we call this Cartesian product. So most times you may not actually need to do this. So the number of value, uh, records returned by cross join is number of records in the, in the first table multiplied by the number of records in the second table. So it's called Cartesian product. And I don't want to really go into the mathematics of how, what is all about. So the only thing to do is to just uh, say cross join and so that you can see how it 
uh, what am I doing? So cross join. I'm going to just write it cross join. So I'm going to just right click and say execute. So you can see uh, unable to pass. So I think I so this should be on. I think I I took it out by mistake. All right, so cross join of the two tables. So I think it's going to give us about 30 or thereabout, or 30, 30 or 30 records maybe. The following errors cannot pass. Continue. From uh, join. Hmm. So okay, let's just correct this. I just call this and paste here. So I mixed up the syntax on. I think it should work at this point. So let's just run it as a queue. Hmm. Okay, we have on two times. So we have on two times. So just take it out. Finally, we should have it working. So, so at this point we have uh we're talking about cross join. So cross join. So let's see. Okay. So let, let's. Uh, okay. So basically, we can't write this query uh, cross join using uh, using using uh, the the view. So I'm going to just copy it and write it as a query. So it's a new query. Just write it as a query. At this point, I'm going to just execute. So this is what. Hmm. Select the first name, department, the name as from hmm. from department cross join uh, DBL the DBL student. This is this is not happening. Select first name from department, the cross join TPL student on S on D the department ID equal to X the department ID. So there's a queue. Okay, so cross join others all. So, okay, so basically a cross join does not need an on clause. So let's take it out. So there's a queue. So we have it 20 records. So again, let's, let me just take this to my query, to my view. So actually, we need not use the on clause. So just take it out, and then I'm going to just execute. Okay, so we have it. So this cross join. Then we have a self join, uh, another one called self join, a join within a table itself. So let's say I want to get the managers of uh, an employee. So both managers and employee, they are all employees. So we are joining an uh, employee table with itself and you are what we want to filter by manager. I think this will require some explanation I'm going to give in, in a different uh, tutorial. But at this point, I'm going to stop here and I'd like to recommend, take some time to read through this, take some time to practice it and get used to it. And we'll see you in the next lesson.